What's going on there, everyone? Well, another big win for Trump. Pentagon from the New York Times. The Pentagon to divert money from 127 projects to pay for Trump's border wall. Well, at least someone's finally getting something done on that. Even though quite a bit of new wall has gone up. They just don't want to talk about it. They want to say that, oh, it's just a replacement. But when you look at it, what it's replacing, which is literally a fence, that's new wall. Because the fence was doing absolutely nothing. But let's get into the story. Washington. The Pentagon will delay or suspend 127 military construction projects so that a $3.6 billion can be diverted to shore up President Trump's border wall. Defense Department officials said Tuesday. Pentagon officials on Tuesday began notifying congressional representatives from areas that house the affected projects, and the decision to divert the funding prompted an outcry from Democrats over what they viewed as a violation of Congress's authority to set spending. Well, if you look at all the people in Congress, especially from the left, do we really want them in control of our money? That's a good question. The move is part of President Trump's declaration in February of a national emergency in order to gain access to billions of dollars that Congress refused to give him to build the wall along the border with Mexico. After losing a battle with lawmakers over that funding, a fight that led to a partial government shutdown, the president argued that the flow of drugs, criminals, and illegal immigrants from Mexico constitutes a national security threat that justified using the military without specific approval from lawmakers. Defense Department officials declined to publicly identify the affected projects until lawmakers had been notified, but they said that about half of the $3.6 billion would be taken from planned military construction projects overseas. The remainder would come from planned projects in the United States. Well, I agree with taking it fully from overseas military projects because, you know, I don't like that, that whole look of American imperialism type things. I like, you know, to keep our money here on the mainland. Kind of makes sense. The United States Military Academy at West Point is one such project, said Senator Chuck Schumer ugh, of, the New York, of New York, the Democratic leader. In a statement, he called the decision a slap in the face to members of the armed forces who served our country that President Trump is willing to cannibalize already allocated military funding to boost his own ego and for a wall he promised Mexico would pay to build. While I, I will criticize Trump for saying Mexico is going to build the wall, I get how he's trying to get Mexico to build the wall through tariffs or, or whatever, but you never, that's one of those things you don't ever say. And him as a businessman, you think he would have got that. You don't ever say you are going to get someone else to pay for something. You just don't say that. Regardless, we need the wall. Walls work. They've worked forever. That's why there's so many great walls everywhere. Because walls work, people. It's the same argument we've been using since... The whole build the wall thing in the first place. Walls actually do work. Defense Secretary Mark T. Esper signed off on the diversion of funds, his aide said. In a letter sent to lawmakers that was obtained by the New York Times, he identified 11 projects that the money would go towards, including new construction and some fencing replacement along the southwestern border. The project, or projects, would span Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, with the largest amount of new pedestrian fencing, about 52 miles, slated for Laredo, Texas, along the Rio Grande. And while Mr. Esper did not use the word wall in the letter, it is likely to serve as evidence for both the president and his re-election campaign that he is upholding his promise to build one. And here is the letter to the lawmakers. I will, I will put a separate link in the description for you can, if you so choose to, you can read the whole document. It's three pages. Eh, you can read it just to just to read it. It's kind of good to know what the heck these people are talking about. The projects, Mr. Esper wrote, will reduce the demand for personnel and assets at the locations where the barriers are constructed, and will allow redeployment of DoD personnel and assets to other high-traffic areas. 
While Mr. Esper did not detail which military construction initiatives would lose funding, he said in a letter that the money would not be taken from any family housing barracks or dormitory projects. Good. And considering we fund, we put so much money towards our military, it's one of the most well-funded militaries in the world, this isn't that big of a deal to the people who are crying, like Chuck Schumer, that, oh, they're taking away from our military. Blah, 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 blah. It's something y'all have been wanting to do for a long time, you know? Every time a Democrat gets in office, you drastically take away stuff from the military. But considering it's, it's y'all doing it and not a Republican, and especially Trump, it's, it's no harm, no foul when y'all do it. But when a Republican tries to do anything, even when it makes sense, people lose their minds. People lose their minds. Since Mr. Trump's emergency declaration... The Defense Department has been examining an expansive $12.9 billion list of projects in nearly all 50 states and more than two dozen um, countries where American troops are stationed. Department officials insist on uh, Tuesday that the military construction pro projects were only being delayed, not canceled, but regaining uh, money for those projects will be up to Congress. Joy. So that'll be another couple of years of inaction. Uh, which would have to approve new money to fund them, something that Democrats who control the House are loath to do. Yeah, they don't. Like I said, if it's if it's anything coming from a Republican, the Congress and and all the dip, uh, Democrats are just going to go against it. That's what they do. They are the obstructionist party, among other things. We could call them the party of all kinds of negative uh, things, but we yeah, have... I'll hold that to myself for now. My view of it is uh, that stealing money from the military construction at home and abroad will undermine uh, our national security, quality of life, and morale of our troops, and that indeed makes America less safe, Speaker Nancy Pelosi of California told members of California, the same place where an illegal alien that's been deported five times and ended up accidentally killing some uh, an American citizen just got all charges dropped. Yeah, California, the, the place that just took off laws saying that uh, citizens no longer have to assist the police if they're needed. Yeah, California doesn't care. People from California seem not to care, ex except for a few. There are always a few. Uh, told members of her caucus on a private call on Tuesday, according to a Democratic official who spoke on the condition of anonymity, to public, uh, publicly, yeah, publicly discuss a private phone call. Representative Desi, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Democrat of Florida, who leads the House Appropriations Subcommittee that oversees military construction, said on the same call that the committee would continue to resist replacing the diverted funds according to the Democratic official. So, okay, let's get this right. Let's get this right. In this previous paragraph, Nancy Pelosi, a Democrat, is complaining that taking money from the construction at home and abroad will undermine our national security, quality of life, and morale of our troops. Yet, in the next, very next paragraph, Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz said um, that the Democrats are going to continue to resist replacing the diverted funds. Where does that make any damn sense at all? Explain to me that. This is horrible that they're taking this money but we will absolutely not give it back to them in any way, shape, or form. Come on. What a, what a very Democrat argument. Ay, ay, ay. Every project that has been affected has gone through a rigorous multi-year review of the appropriateness and uh, necessity of the construction process, said Representative John Garamendi, Democrat of California, who oversees the House Armed Services Readiness Subcommittee. 
in an interview. He said he had not yet spoken with Mr. Esper, but warned it will not be a pleasant conversation for him. Why? Why? This is something America needs, and a good portion of Americans are calling for. Even immigrants. Yeah. You know, those legal ones? The ones who did everything right and by the book? And obeyed the laws? Yeah, they kind of like the idea of a wall, too. Because a lot of them were fleeing these areas south of the border to get to somewhere safe. So they don't mind having a wall up there at all. Kind of makes them feel even safer. Imagine that. Democrats on the Senate Appropriations Committee, in a letter to Mr. Epsper on a Tuesday night, demanded more information about how the decision was made and why a border wall is more important to our national security and well-being of our service members. Or, yeah, than, I think they want to say, than the well-being of our service members and their families than uh, these projects. Uh, service members really aren't going to be affected. Didn't I mean, do these people, they don't even read the documents they're handed. They're not going to be affected by this. It's not going to affect uh, the, the families of the troops, and it's generally not going to affect the servicemen themselves. Sure, they might not have a brand new shiny office or something, but, hey, you know, they don't need all that. Several groups have challenged uh, the Trump administration over the president's efforts to divert funding for the wall. But in July, the Supreme Court gave Mr. Trump a victory in a separate but related case, overturning the appellant decision and ruling that the administration could tap money to proceed with wall construction while the matter proceeds. The court said the groups uh, challenging the administration did not appear to have the legal right to do so, in an indication that the court's conservative majority is likely to side with the administration in the end. Which may happen. Which it should happen. And it's not even a, a conservative thing. It should happen because it, it, it makes sense. I say it all the time, a country with no borders is no country at all. A lot of people have said that. Many people a thousand times wiser than me have said the same thing. Not that big of a deal, but looks like we're finally getting some uh, a real ball moving on the wall. I love the wall. I think it's uh, great. I think it, it puts out a strong message to people trying to cross our border illegally. Is that illegally? You're not welcome. We have ports of entry for that. If you want to come here legally and you have a clean criminal record, this, that, and the other, you can... Prove to us in some way, shape, or form that you would be an asset and not a liability. You should not have access to any welfare programs for yeah, a minimum, to, in my opinion, of 10 years after coming here. You know, we don't need people come here to steal from the coffers of the American people that themselves may need that um, assistance once in a while. We don't need all that. So the wall is a good thing. Keeps immigration happening, yet it keeps it happening legally under our laws. And uh, it really does stifle the drug trade and human trafficking also, which is a big deal. Human trafficking more than drugs, in my opinion. Drugs are a choice thing. Human trafficking is not. You know, you can choose to do drugs. You can't really choose when you're taken to be a slave. But, uh... Yeah, I love the wall, and I love to see even more of it being put up, because we've already had, between private contractors and everything, we've already had almost, I think, 250 miles of wall go up. So, win-win. It's, it's not harming nobody. It's not harming anything. It's a win-win. We, we keep our borders secure, and we let other people know, hey, we're on this. We're watching the border. We're around there. It's not going to be as easy for you to get in here illegally as you think it's going to be. It's a good thing. But I'd love to hear your comments, as always. And like, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the flip side.